click on the board tool it says no board exists and you'd like to create from the schematic so yes then the board window opens up you'll see all your parts uh, down on the left outside the eagle uh, freeware version has this uh, uh, little rectangular box uh, around here that's the limit of your uh, board layout that you can use uh, however this circuit would be much smaller the first thing is to go and set this area how big you want the circuit to be uh, basically around here on your grid you can change everything from inches to millimeters to millimeters and then you can set this off as one millimeter five millimeter grid ten millimeter it's entirely up to you uh, I'll just go set it to millimeters and go ok uh, you'll see up here is what it's, uh, the coordinates are being read so if I go to this uh, uh, dotted plus down here and you read uh, the cursor coordinate and it's uh, zero zero uh, right over here for example you want a 50 millimeter board so you go extend all the way to 50 uh, go, 50 point eight and then uh, you reduce this by moving this by using the move uh, tool <coughs> so you want some uh, board shape like a triangular shape or something yeah you can also do that uh, and bring this uh, down say there and that's uh, reduce this so that's your little triangular shaped uh, safety light that we can make You'll also notice that uh, uh, you could either drag this one by one inside this uh, box or you could select the group command, highlight the entire uh, parts, right click and move group and everything starts moving. So we'll just place it around here. And uh, I normally start designing according to the board size but uh, this is I leave this for you to decide I'm just showing you as a demo how things are getting done uh, so I quickly move things around uh, basically this gives me a layout of how my project would possibly turn out to be and this is the time to play around and uh, see what you can position where even if you're right clicking uh, it will change the orientation of uh, the component uh, which way you want to place it will uh, probably uh, some of it will disappear they are called the air wires and uh, after clicking on the red's nest it gives you basically the shortest possible uh, route uh, for the track that you can form so watch carefully I'll click on this now and you'll see I'll go undo that's all the extra air wires that are present and just clicking on the red's nest those are the possibilities okay. now uh, Eagle does have a uh, auto router setting uh, which is down here on the left hand side it says auto router uh, or auto route basically if you click on that and you have a single sided board so top will go not applicable bottom we have one layer and to be honest I haven't played around much with this uh, but if I go ok that's, uh, that's it done for me uh, if I click on any air wires there is nothing to do and 
here for my separate screen just a click however I'd like to bring to your attention this as I zoom in this is the full this is the dill socket for the picking uh, okay. look at what the optimizer has done it got a track right in between two pads now if I was doing uh, or using a milling machine or CNC method or any other method uh, apart from toner transfer method this probably will work fine or if you get it get your board and sent over to some PCB making company uh, they, they will be able to uh, uh, do this uh, perfectly for you since it's a DIY hobby kind of thing that I do I know after after doing this it will leave me no room to solder basically uh, after I've drilled a hole of one millimeter through this bed there's basically very little copper left around for me to solder and because uh, the temperature uh, to what it gets heated up these are most likely to break away from the board so I personally don't like this uh, method but if you look at it it's uh, given you a fair idea of what uh, the board layout will look like so let's go undo this and I do a manual routing uh, myself so I click on manual routing this is the place I just go back and on the display grid thing and I'll go default get it back into inches uh, I just find it very easy uh, and click so I'll select 0 0.032 and we'll start uh, routing this and the preferred method of routing is uh, I just use a wire band that is uh, around like 45 degree so let's see do all the easy ones first and then we'll worry about the higher ones so the moment you click on one pad you'll see that wherever it joins that other pad also highlights so that means that those two are connected Uh, 
this space on the board so I'll just uh, leave it over here the other things that you want to do is to add the positive side of the battery which is here now you see it's uh, floating off the grid to get it closer I just press the alt key on the keyboard and I can grab it uh, and place it really close I don't sorry I also mark with the text the positive of the capacitor and I mark the negative of the battery Print, uh, print this out you'll see that these pads are actually really tiny once you do your one millimeter hole around here you basically are left with very minimum space to solder now this is not part of the design rule or this is not part of uh, formal uh, PCB making but I find it, uh, it comes out pretty good for me when I'm doing a uh, total transfer method making boards. So I go down to the circle command and I change the width to zero and I draw some circles around this and see how I make a circle slightly bigger. The pad is there. You will see one grey uh, circle around that's basically uh, the clearance part of it and then I just pop one up there uh, I'll do the same and to do that I'll just use the copy command copy and just place onto all the other resistors that I'll be using you want to get uh, more copies of this printed on the same uh, uh, sheet of uh, paper that I'm using the codec one uh, there's a trick to this go on to the layers and go none then you just select the bottom page uh, and bias so you end up with this and to get multiple copies of this all I do is I select on the group uh, tool select everything and I right click sorry let me show this again you select using the select tool the entire board then you click on copy and then right click on the board and go copy group there we go got a replica of the same board that we made okay. place that around there if you're making 
probably four boards or ten boards depending on the requirement you just select the entire group click on copy right click copy group there you go another 